Every year in the United States, more than 100 people die from ladder-related falls. Out here on a hill like this, it's prime location for those falls to occur. There's a company called Wild Badger that makes yard tools. They saw my previous videos and all this ridiculous work I have to do and they asked me if there was anything in their catalog that I could use really bad. And so I flipped through their website and I said, yeah, I want one of those and I want one of those. So, the one I really wanted was this eight foot extendable pull saw because I have this power line that goes right through the middle of my property and a bunch of these trees have branches growing right into that power line or underneath it. And I want to limb those up, but many of those branches are like way overhead and I don't feel like climbing on a ladder out here. So I said, yes, please send me one of those things so I can get these trees out of my power line. I figured while I'm using chainsaws, you might as well send me your cordless chainsaw. They pretty much said to do whatever I want with them and leave any kind of review I have. So I'm going to use these chainsaws as much as I can until the batteries die and let you guys know how they work. And I can also show you around the property and a bunch of other work we did in the previous weeks that I didn't get to document in a video yet. So right away, I'm a little worried I'm going to break them. This one especially is made almost entirely out of plastic. And um, I'm kind of prone to breaking things. But we'll see. This is the one that extends. See, there's stuff like this all over the property. The branch will hit me in the head when I walk by but it's attached to the tree, like 12 or 15 feet up. There's one literally touching the power line right there. This thing, they hit my windshield every time I drive by here. If the battery reading is correct, then it's kind of impressive because I've done a fair amount of cutting and I thought it would die after like 10 minutes and it's actually been going pretty strong. I want to test out this bad boy and I'm gonna just go straight to something large with this thing because it's got a 12 inch blade. It should be able to cut something that's about 12 inches thick, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight. So this log actually came down about a month and a half ago back when we were doing a ton of this slash and burn on the hillside. And it's actually a pretty good story. So before I cut this eight and a half foot length here with the new saw, let's flash back to when my dad fell this thing. I couldn't find my whiteboard. This is a piece of sheetrock. If this is that giant pine tree that was right in the middle of my property and dead needed to go, this is the main power line that goes all the way up the street. And this is my power line that goes to the mobile home and is supposed to power my well. This is that giant oak tree that I want to keep. And my dad knew that if we fall this tree into that tree, it's going to break that tree. And if it doesn't break that tree, it'll get stuck. And that's a lot more work. This is that other giant pine tree by the driveway. So the only option to fall it to where it would land directly on the ground was a very slim shot sideways on the hill to land over here. And my dad basically said, it's super risky. I can do it, but it's your property. And I said, dad, I trust you, don't take out my neighbor's power lines. My mom got nervous. She grabbed one of the grandkids and, and went down the road for a drive. Well done, Dad! He fell this tree directly this way within like a 10 foot margin of both power lines. And I was very impressed. So my dad's a mechanic, but he grew up cutting firewood and falling trees, and he's actually built his own sawmill. So I trusted him to make that fall more than I trusted myself. I was not gonna do that. There's no way I was touching that tree. If you guys are interested, let me know. Maybe one of these days we'll take you down to see my dad's sawmill and we can cut that log up into some other kind of construction supplies.
Dang. I have a stack of logs. I'm gonna go cut into some firewood with this thing and see how long it lasts. Thank you, Wild Badger, for providing me with those chainsaws. If you guys are interested in checking out their products, I'll put links in the description down below so you can go check them out. Honestly, I'm a little bit impressed. Um, it seems to work very well for being the cheap option on Amazon of a cordless chainsaw. I have used other cordless chainsaws before. My dad has a little DeWalt that's rechargeable that works really well. Um, I don't really see any difference between this and my dad's DeWalt. So, I have no complaints. As far as the extendable pole saw goes, that thing worked great, but I have never used another brand, and so I have nothing to compare that one to. Am I grateful to have them? Absolutely. I've been wanting to get that branch that's been hanging over my driveway since we moved here, and I'm glad I got to do that. Before I wrap up this video, I wanna say thanks to everyone who's been watching. When I started doing these homestead videos, I wasn't sure who would tune in regularly. And it seems like I've got a fair amount of you guys that are. So thank you. My cardio since we moved here has been in great shape from having to run down this hill to grab tools every time I forget one. Let me end this video with footage of this because after that well broke, I had to take out some anger on something else. And so I called a bunch of my friends over and me and the guys got this mobile home ripped down. We haven't taken it away, obviously, but we got it down. Thanks for watching my videos and tuning in. I'll keep you updated on more work we do.